everybody this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today I want to show you how to make the cushy cabled throw. Well, let me go ahead and show you what you're going to need. For this project, I'm going to be using Yarnspiration's Burnett Blanket Yarn and some of the stats on this here. It is 100% polyester. This is a number six or super bulky weight yarn. And each of these scans has 220 yards. 10.5 ounces or 300 grams. The number that you will need for this project will be shown right across the bottom of the screen here. And I'm also recommending that you have a size M or 13 or 9.00 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I'm recommending that you have a yarn needle and a pair of sharp scissors handy. So now we're ready to begin. I'm going to start with a slip knot. Make sure that you leave a decent sized tail here so that it would be easier to work in once we finish off. All right, so we are going to start with a chain of 103 chains. So after completing this long chain of 103 stitches, we're going to begin in the fourth chain from the hook. So this would be one, two, three, four. And we are going to work a double crochet in this chain and in each chain all the way across the row. So as you're working those double crochets, you are going to need a total of 100 at the end of this row and that number is not including the chain three here that is our turning chain so go ahead and work double crochets all the way across the foundation chain so after completing those 100 double crochets we're going to turn and we're going to chain two now we are going to begin the first of four rows of ribbing. We're going to start by skipping this first stitch and we're going to work a front post double crochet on that first stitch and then a back post double crochet. Notice the hook goes all the way around the body of the stitch. If you need some help with front and back post double crochets, just check the video description below and I'll have another video listed there with great detail on how to learn these if you've never seen these before. Okay, so we work a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet. I've worked another front post and another back post and we're going to do this all the way across the row until we get to the last stitch. Okay, we come to the last stitch and we're gonna work this a front post since the last stitch we've worked here was a back post. So we're gonna work a front post, double crochet, and then in the turning chain right here, we're gonna work a half double crochet just like that. So that ends row two. Now for row three, four and five, we're all going to start with a chain two. Now rows three and five will start the same way and that is with a back post double crochet because you can see the first stitch is on the back side. So rows three and five will begin with a back post double crochet and then we alternate with a front post double crochet back and forth let me do a couple more of these for you and then a front post double crochet 
This is not really complicated, but what you do want to be sure of is when you see a front post, you're going to work in the front post to keep this column or, or the ribbing growing in length. Okay, just like that. Now when we end rows 3 and 5, we will end with a back post double crochet and then we will work the half double in the turning chain just the way we ended um, the previous row. Now when you get to row 4, you're going to start with a front post double crochet after your chain 2 of course. So you're going to have a front post double crochet then back post and that row will end with a front post double crochet. So if you just crochet what you see in front of you, um, again, like if you see a front post, do a front post. If you see a back post, do a back post. So go ahead and complete rows three, four, and five. This is what you should have after five rows of the ribbing. And you see how these ribbed areas are nice and even. Now to begin row six, we will be establishing the waddle stitch and the foundation for the center cable. We're going to chain two and starting in the next stitch right here, we're going to work in through the top loops with our first waddle stitch, which is a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet worked all in that same space, just like that. Okay. Now after we do that, we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then we're going to make another waddle stitch in the next stitch. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet, worked all in the same space. And then again, skip two stitches and go to the next stitch. And we're going to work another waddle stitch. And we're going to do this until we have a total of 14 waddle stitches worked one after the other. So go ahead and do that until you have 14 of these waddle stitch clusters. Okay, I have just completed 14 of these waddle stitches and again skipping two stitches after that double crochet for each one and we're going to have to skip two stitches here. Now starting in the very next stitch we're going to start the foundation. So make sure you do skip two stitches here and we're going to work the foundation for this large cable. And we do that by working three front post double crochets, one over each of the next three stitches. And then we're going to follow that with a half double crochet worked in the top loops of the next stitch. And do make sure that you're not skipping um, too many stitches and make sure that you're not double dipping in the stitches that you've already worked post stitches over. It's really easy to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to do this again. Three front post double crochets. And follow that with a half double crochet worked in through the top loops. Okay, so now I have two sets. So let's do another set with the three front post double crochets. And we're going to follow that with a half double crochet worked in to the top loops. Okay, so we have three sets now with the three front post double, half double, three front post double, half double, three front post double, half double. And so now we're going to work just three more front post double crochets and that will finish the foundation for this cable. Okay, notice I'm not going to work a half double, but I'm instead going to go straight into working those 14 waddle stitches just the way we started. We're going to start in the very next stitch, which is right here. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet. And again, back to skipping two stitches and then working in the top loops, waddle stitch, which is single crochet, chain one, double crochet in that next stitch, skip two, and etc. So I'm going to do this across the rest of these stitches 
and I will show you how the row ends. And I'll give you another view of this foundation. You have one, two, three, four sets of those three front post double crochets begun. Now to start row number seven, we are going to chain two. And just to be clear, we are skipping the first single crochet and the double crochet, which is part of the waddle stitch. And we are only going to work in the chain one spaces of the waddle stitch for the next 14 clusters. We're going to work a waddle stitch, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in that space. Okay, in that chain one space. And just to be clear, we're skipping the single crochet and the double crochet and just working in the chain one space of the next waddle stitch. We work a waddle stitch. Again, the single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Go to the next chain one space. And I promise you, once you do this a few hundred times, your muscle memory is going to kick in and you should know exactly what to do where. Go to the next chain one space and etc. Work another waddle stitch. Go ahead and do that across the 14 chain one spaces until you get to the um, cable, the center cable, and I will show you what to do then. Now working over the center cable, the front side should be facing away from you and we're going to work three back post double crochets. One, two, and three. Half double worked in the top loops of that next half double. That may be a little bit tricky with this yarn, but definitely use your fingers so that you can, you know, feel for where that stitch is located. And then three more back post double crochets. One, two, three, half double, worked in the half double, those top two loops. And we're going to do that again. Three more back post double crochets. That's one, two, and three. Half double in the half double. And then three more back post double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, and then after that, we return to working the waddle stitches, working those single crochets, chain one, double crochet, and noticed that I worked them starting in that chain one space just the way we've been doing along the other half of this row. Okay, so go ahead and finish out those waddle stitches in each of those chain one spaces. Row seven ends the same way as row six by working a single crochet in that turning chain. Okay, let's go ahead and turn. And we're going to begin row eight, but let me just be very clear that each row is going to begin and end the same way until we get to the ribbing at the other end of the throw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on showing you the center cable, but just know that each row is going to start with a chain two and working in the chain one spaces of the waddle stitch, waddle stitches, just work waddle stitches in each chain one space. There will be 14 of them. And then I will show you the center work of the cable. Okay, we've come to the point where we are going to start crossing the columns to form our cables. We have one, two, three, four columns here. We're going to do the honeycomb, the large honeycomb first. And what we're going to do is this column is going to cross and come on top of this column. 
and I'll show you how to do this by working behind some stitches, but yet working front post treble crochets, not doubles, but trebles over these and these stitches. I'll show that to you. We're going to be using half doubles in between to help continue to give our cabling definition. And then once we get to the other side here, this cable is going to come across on top um, of this cable here. And I will show you how to do that with a front cross. What I'm going to show you here, I refer to as a back cross. It's a little bit tricky. Um, so definitely take this on the slow side, but I think once you understand what's happening, it is very doable. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to skip the first three stitches here. We're going to work a half double crochet in the top loops of that half double. Now we're going to work three front post treble crochets. That's the longer stitch. That's one. I'm wrapping the hook two times. It's two. And the third one. Okay. So after working those four stitches, the half double and the three front post treble, we're going to prepare our hook for a treble crochet. We're going to come into the hole from the back side, right back here, and we're going to work front post trebles here, here, and then here. A little bit tricky, but we're going to come in, and I'm going to locate this with my thumb and finger, and my thumb and finger have a hold of that, and then we're going to complete the treble crochet. It's a little bit trickier with this thick yarn, but definitely worth the fight. Hopefully it won't be a fight. Okay, so now we're getting ready for the second stitch, which is right here. So I'm going to come into that hole. My fingers have located it. Okay, so I've, I'm verifying with my fingers, my finger and my thumb there. And then we complete that front post treble. And we're going to come into this hole one more time for this last stitch down here. And again, I my fingers, my finger and thumb keep a hold of that stitch so that I put it in the proper place and we complete that treble crochet. I do have additional stitch videos in the video description below should you need to look at this with thinner yarn or just to have a different perspective. Okay, that's half of this completed. So now we're going to work a half double crochet. This should be right in the center of this very large cable. Skip the next three stitches, half double in that next stitch. And you can see this looks kind of like a mess right now. Don't fear, that's the way it will look for just a few seconds until we complete our cabling. We're going to front post treble in each of these next three stitches. So that's one. And two. And three. Now working in front of these last four stitches, yay, because that's a lot easier, right? We're going to work front post trebles here, here, and then here. So coming right in front of those four stitches. It's a long reach, so it's a reach all the way over to that first. Make sure you do it in this order. The one that's furthest away, and then the one that's in the middle. Let's get some more yarn. And then the third stitch, which is right here. Again, using your thumb and finger to locate those stitches for you. And before I show you the cable, let's go ahead and do the next waddle stitch because we're just going to do those 14 waddle stitches and the half double, I'm sorry, the single crochet. So we're going to do 14 waddle stitches and then the single crochet in the chain, the turning chain. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. So you see how this column has come out on top of this column down here. And this column is on top, going this direction, on top of this column. This was a back cross because we worked behind these four stitches. And this was a front cross because we worked in front. So go ahead and complete this row. And then start the following row with the 
wattle stitches and which which will bring you to the back side facing so go ahead and finish the wattle stitches at the end of this row and then finish them beginning the next row and then I'll show you the cabling next step okay I've completed those 14 wattle stitch worked in those chain one spaces and now I have come to the back side of the cable and for this row this is the row that follows whenever you cross the cables you work three back post double crochets from back to doubles um, we only work the trebles when crossing the cables on the front side okay so I've worked three back post double crochets in between where these cables were crossed in between the last stitch and the next stitch we're going to work a half double crochet right in the middle this is not directly in a stitch or over another post so just want to be clear about that and then we're going to work three more back post double crochets one two and three now we did add a stitch in here but just to be clear we are going to skip this half double crochet so in a sense mathematically this cancels out so we are not adding any additional stitches other than what is already in the row then the next half double which is the one right in the center we're going to work in through the top loops and work a half double crochet there okay three more back post double crochets this is working over the other side of this large honeycomb cable and then just like I explained in between the last stitch and the next stitch this is where those cables were crossed we're going to add a half double crochet and just trust me the math does work out here and then three more back post double crochets one two and three and then after we do that you're back to working the waddle stitches right in those chain one spaces so go ahead and work those 14 waddle stitches across the single crochet in the chain two and then begin the next row working the 14 waddle stitches back across and let's go ahead and take a look I just want to show you what this looks like with the front side facing you can see how this is starting to be better formed and once we do a few more rows you'll see that it takes on quite a nice shape now continuing this is row number 10 and I've already done the 14 waddle stitches I started the row with a chain two just as a gentle reminder now we've come to the cable and this is going to simply be three front post double crochets we're not crossing anything we are just growing these columns for the next few rows so three front post double crochets half double in the half double and that's what we're going to do over this cable but I will work it with you three front post double crochets and a half double in the half double and then again three front post double crochets half double in the half double and then three more front post double crochets And then after we do that we begin with our 14 waddle stitches which we will do across in those chain one spaces and then a single crochet in the turning chain turn and then work chain two and then 14 more um, waddle stitches in those chain one spaces but let's take a look at our cable now okay hasn't changed a whole lot but it does continue to grow so go ahead and finish that and I'll show you what to do for the cable for row 11 okay now we have come to the cabling portion 
and the back side is facing for row 11 and we are going to simply work three back post double crochets and after the three back post double crochets we work a half double crochet worked in the top loops of that half double and we're going to do that three times with the three back post double crochets followed by the half double okay so we've done done two of those grab some more yarn here and here's the third set with the three back post double crochets yes this is very redundant um, but I just want to be clear as I'm teaching and then half double crochet so this was the third the third set one two three and then the last set is just three back post double crochets we don't follow this with a half double but of course we go right into um, our waddle stitches again so so we're coming off of those three back post double crochets and then we go right into the waddle stitches for the next 14 waddle stitches worked in those chain one spaces so go ahead and finish out row 11 with those 14 waddle stitches worked in those chain one spaces and then end with a single crochet then start the next row which is row 12 with a chain two and then work your 14 waddle stitches back the other direction and i'll meet you at the cable now we've come to the cabling for row 12 and this is really getting bulky so i hope you can see what i'm doing now for row number 12 we are going to do a repeat of row number 10 which is just working three front posts double crochets followed by a half double crochet and we're going to do that over each of these post stitches as we work across three front post double crochets I'm hoping you're seeing hoping you're seeing a pattern here um, the only tricky part really of this cabling is when you're actually crossing the cables and again I'm going to walk that walk you through that uh, step by step so that there won't be any doubts and if you know how to do a front cross and a back cross just like I showed you back down here you've pretty much got all the tools to to complete this throw it's just a matter of when to work those front and back crosses okay so I've worked those three three front post doubles half double three front post doubles half double three front post half double and then the three front post double crochets and then I'm going to follow this with those 14 waddle stitches again worked in those chain one spaces I hope you're getting used to those by this point uh, muscle memory should be starting to kick in about now if you followed uh, with me this far so I'm going to go ahead and finish these 14 waddle stitches again single crochet in the chain two turning chain chain two and then come back with these other 14 waddle stitches and then I'll show you the back side of this cable okay now this is row 13 and I've already worked my chain two and those 14 waddle stitches and over the cabling section we are just going to work those back post double crochets work three of them just like we did two rows uh, prior to this row so three let me go ahead and get some more yarn here three back post double crochets followed by a half double worked in those two loops at the top so we're going to do this three times so this is the second set three back post double crochets followed by a half double worked in through the top loops just like just like that and let's do that again 
three back posts, double crochets, followed by that half double. That's our third repeat. And then now for the last three stitches, we just work three back posts, double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. And then after that, we're going to go right back into those 14 waddle stitches. And again, single crochet in that turning chain at the end of the row and then chain two and then work the 14 waddle stitches coming back the other direction for row number 14 and I will show you the cabling section. Now we're at row number 14. I've worked the waddle stitches along the side until we get to the cable and it's now time to cross the cables again. So this column, these three stitches are going to cross and be on top we're going to work a, a front cross here. And then over here, this column is going to remain on top. And what we're going to do is work a back cross on this side. It's the opposite of what we worked here. Okay, so let me just go ahead and show you how to do these. Again, we're going to skip the next three stitches. Half double in that next stitch front post treble crochet that's with wrapping the hook twice for the next three stitches okay once we do that we're going to work in front of the last four stitches that we worked and we're going to front post treble crochet in each of these three stitches. And as you can see, the, the yarn is a bit bulky, and um, which is why I do recommend, if you've never seen these stitches before, to please check out the videos below, because I do use thinner yarn in a lot of those, well, in all of those videos. And you'll be able to see the stitches with a little bit more definition than what this really cushy yarn will deliver right now. Okay, so after we do that, I need to pull a significant amount of yarn away again. And now we're going to half double. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what we've just done there. We crossed that like this, and we're going to work a half double in the next half double crochet worked in those top loops and then we're going to skip the next three post stitches half double in the next half double and then we're going to front post treble in the next three stitches that's one two And three, and let's pull a little bit more yarn away. There we go. And once we do that, we are going to do the back cross where we come in behind these four stitches and we're going to work, kind of come into the back hole here and we're going to work front post troubles here, here, and here. Okay, so we're going to come in. If I can grab the yarn, there it goes. Coming into that back opening and using that first. Again, I'm using my thumb and, and finger there to help me to grab this yarn and to, and to know which stitch that I'm to work around. And I'm going to do that again, coming in to this back hole. And I'm going to work the second stitch, which is right here. Okay. And then we have, we have one more coming into the same place and the last stitch is right here. 
and work that final treble crochet for this. Okay, and then we return to our waddle stitches. Let me do one of them for you here so that I can pause and show you how this cable should look. So after this, you should have this giant, oh, it's like a big opening here, which is the large honeycomb. So go ahead and complete row 14 by working the waddle stitches again all the way to the end, single crochet in the chain two space, chain two, and then work the waddle stitches up through um, for row 15. And then I'll show you the back side of this cable for row 15. Now for working with the back side facing, this is the cable section for row 15. We're going to work three back post double crochets. This is very similar to the row that we worked after the first cable crossing several rows below. Okay, so we have three back post double crochets and then in between the last stitch and the next stitch, this is where the cable was crossed. Work a half double crochet right in there. Hope Maybe you didn't see that. There we go. Just half double crochet in between that last stitch and the next stitch. And then three more back post double crochets. Make sure that you do three. It's easy with these really thick stitches to miss one. Okay. And then we work a half double in the center. Half double crochet. It's right in between where the two sides of the cable are being formed. And then we do three more back post double crochets. Okay. And then again, in between the last stitch and the next stitch, this is the center of the cable. Put another half double crochet right in between there. And then three more back post double crochets. One, two, and three. And I'll go ahead and work. We go right into the waddle stitches at that point. So we finished the row with 14 waddle stitches, worked in those chain one spaces, and then a single crochet at the end. Well, let's take a look what this looks like from the back side. And then I'll show you the front side when I turn for row 16. So go ahead and complete those 14 waddle stitches. Again, single crochet in the last space, chain two, and then 14 more waddle stitches coming back the other direction. And I'll show you the cabling for row 16. Now we're about to begin the cabling for row 16. I've gone ahead and worked the waddle stitches. And let me just explain what you're going to do because I think you'll understand this better. We're going to do three front post double crochets, half double crochet, three front post doubles, half double in that center, half double crochet, three front post doubles, half double in this half double crochet, and then three front post double crochets. So go ahead and finish row 16. And then after you do that, we do the 14 waddle stitches and the single crochet in the turning chain. So go ahead and finish row 16 and I'll show you what I have after I finish mine. This is what your cable should look like after 16 rows. So I've gone ahead and worked my waddle stitches down and back. So now we're going to turn to work row 17 and this is going to be another simple explanation. So as we go across with the back side facing, we are going to just work three back post double crochets, a half double, three back post doubles, a half double, three more back post double crochets, a half double, and three more back post double crochets. So go ahead and finish that for row 17 as well as the waddle stitches and then work again for row 18 and come back and I will show you the cabling for row 18. Now for row 18, I've again done the waddle stitches and it's time to cross the cables again. Let me just explain what we're going to do. This cable or this column is gonna cross on top 
and we are going to be working a back cross to do that. And this one is going to be crossing and will be on top. And that will be a front cross that we're going to work. And I will work those with you right now. Skip the next three stitches. Half double and that half double. Front post trebles in the next three stitches. That's one. Two, and the last one, three. Now, again, I said we were going to keep this on top, so we're going to cross behind those last four stitches coming in to our little window here, and we're going to work this stitch, then this stitch, and then this stitch using front post trebles. And you can see that my stitching is slower than my usual um, speedy speedy, which I probably need to slow down at times. Um, and this is largely due to the amount of friction that this yarn has. So that's one reason why I, I recommend as you're working on a project of this size, of this nature, to take breaks often just to give your hands some rest because I can tell you right now that my hands are working a lot harder with this blanket yarn than they normally would with a smaller sized yarn or even yarn made of different materials such as alpaca or or even you know silk or or even just you know a smaller acrylic worsted um, weight yarn. Just a handy tip there. Okay, now after we've done that, we're going to work a half double crochet in that half double. And then now we're going to cross the other side. This is going to be the easy part. Skip the next three stitches, half double, and the next half double. And I'm just going to pause so you see what that looks like. And then three more front post trebles. And that's three. And then now we're going to work in front of the last. Let me go ahead and get this. Even the yarn, it sticks to itself from the friction and maybe a little bit of static electricity now that we're moving into a colder time. Even though this is releasing in June, it's, it's, a, it's getting to be a little bit dry here. So, so working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in each of these three, starting with the one that's furthest away. That's one. And the second one. Two. And three. Okay, let me go ahead and work the next waddle stitch and then we'll take a closer look at what we've just done okay again this is row 18 and let's take a look at this lovely cable all right so remember the big honeycomb and so now this is these cables are turning back out again and then we are going to work some more rows and I'll show you the next row. This So go ahead and finish row 18 with the waddle stitches. And then, again, single crochet in the last, in the turning chain. And then work the waddle stitches back for row 19. And I will show you how to work the back side cable of row 19. Now we have the back side of the cable for row 19. And we are going to work three back posts, double crochets. And again, this is the same way that we worked the other rows when we had the the row after the cables were crossed. So we have those three back post double crochets. And in between the last stitch and the next stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet right in between there. And three more back post double crochets. Okay, 
So we have those three on each side and half double there in the middle. Half double in the center, half double crochet. And then the other side of the cable, three more back post double crochets. Remember, we only use the troubles for crossing the cables, but the front or back post double crochets for the other 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 rows. All right, so so you have those three back post double crochets, a half double again worked in the middle where the cable was crossed. So it's in between that last stitch and the next stitch, and then three more back post double crochets. And there's the third one. And then we go back to our waddle stitches worked in the chain one spaces. And again, we're going to work those to the end of the row. There are 14 of them. And when we work a single crochet in the turning chain, so this is what it looks like. Doesn't look like much, does it, from the back side? But we're going to go ahead and finish out row 19. And then let me get you, give you a small assignment. We're going to work two more rows, rows 20 and 21, and I'm going to explain them. I think you'll have no trouble with this if you've gotten this far in the project. Okay, we are going to work row 20 with front post double crochets over these three stitches, half double, three front post, half double, three front post doubles, half double, and three front post double crochets, the waddle stitches as usual. And then when you work row 21 and get to the cable, we are just going to do pretty much the same thing, but using back post double crochets, three back post doubles, half double, three back post, half double, three back post, half double, three back post, double crochets. So, it, so go ahead and work, you finish row 19 and then work rows 20 and 21. And then I will show you be the beginning of row 22. Okay, I've just finished through row 21, and let's take a look at this cable from the bottom up. And this is what the cabling looks like after 21 rows at the top here. So now I'm going to give you a large assignment. I'm going to have you repeat rows 8 through 21. Okay, now row 8 begins with let me go ahead and get a better view. Here we go. The crossing of the first cable here that opens the honeycomb. So we're going to work this right up here. So this cable is going to cross on the outside and this cable is going to cross on the outside. So this is going to be a back cross and this is going to be a front cross. And we will just repeat rows eight, through 22, and I'll put the, the number of repeats and the row numbers right across the bottom. And if you need stitch support, if you need to look at this video going back, starting at row eight, it's not a bad idea to do that. Go ahead and look at the cross the bottom right now, and I'll have a time mark where you can go and just watch rows eight through 21, and you're gonna repeat them the specified number of times that again that I will have written down there it'll also be in the video description below should you need a written version of that okay so go ahead and do those repeats and I will show you what I have and let me give you some additional rows following that so after those four repeats of those large sections, we're going to repeat rows eight. And again, that's where this cross comes in to open the honeycomb. We're going to repeat rows eight through rows 16. And you should end that last row with the front side facing. So go ahead and complete that. And then we will begin the finishing edges of the throw. So now we're going to return back to the ribbing and we're going to do that with a chain two. We're going to skip the first single crochet and the double crochet. 
And then we're going to work two double crochets in that chain one space. And then one in the single crochet. Again, that's of the waddle stitch. And this is what we're going to do for each of the 14 waddle stitches. Skip the double crochet, work two double crochets in the chain one space and then one double crochet in the single crochet. So go ahead and work that across the waddle stitches and I'll show you how to work the cable section. Okay, once we come to the cable, you'll have the back side of the cable facing. We're going to work three back post double crochets over those three post stitches that are part of the cable. And then go ahead and work a double crochet worked in the top of that half double crochet. And that's what you're going to do all the way across that cable. So again, three back post double crochets, a double crochet in the half double, three back post doubles, a half double, and three back post double crochets. And then you will come again to the waddle stitches when again, you will skip this double crochet of the waddle stitch, two double crochets in the chain one space and one in the single crochet all the way across. And when you get to the end, go ahead and work a double crochet in the chain turning chain right here. Okay, so go ahead and finish that row. After completing this row, you should have a total of 100 stitches plus the chain at the beginning of the row. Okay, so now we're going to work four more rows just like we did at the very beginning. And we're gonna work them pretty much in the same way. We're gonna be working the ribbing. Um, so we're gonna establish it by skipping this first stitch and working a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet. And this is what we're gonna work all the way across the row, front post, double crochet, followed by a back post, double crochet. At the end of the row, we're going to work a half double crochet in the turning chain and turn. After working those four additional rows of ribbing, we're just going to work a half double crochet at the end of the row and I'm going to fasten off, give it a little bit of a tug, and I'm gonna cut a generous strand here so I can hide this loose strand. So I'm gonna hide all of these strands within the work on the back side. And let me go ahead and give you a quick demonstration. So in order to hide these loose ends, this yarn is thick, but it still should slip through the needle, see, just like that. And once you determine which, okay, so this is the back side facing, make sure I know where that is. And this is gonna just fit right into this, into these cushy stitches. This is not gonna be as difficult as you would see, as it would seem, because you have such thick yarn. Um, this yarn is very forgiving as far as that goes, I believe. And so we're just going to work these down. Let's go ahead and move it over into some of these stitches here. And I'm gonna just keep on going down. Okay. Pull it on through. Well, easier said than done. All right, so let's go ahead and pull on this. Ah, there it goes. I'm just being a little bit stubborn. Well then, I think that's gonna be plenty. So let's go ahead and pull this needle off. And I'm gonna get a little pull back and then clip the yarn just like that. And that strand is very well hidden. So go ahead and hide the rest of those and I'll show you what I have.
Well, I hope you enjoyed making this cushy cable throw with me today. If you did, please let me know. You can just comment in the comment section below. God bless. Bye-bye.